Hey guys, my name is Cineyak and welcome to a brand new series. Only if you guys enjoy it of Transport Fever 2. Now, I've only really played the first one a little bit and this one's came out uh, quite recently. Uh, I sent a lot of you guys comments asking me to play this game so I thought we'll give it a go. It's all about basically running your own transport company, trying to get passengers to and from their destination, trying to get cargo from and to and from his destination as well. And uh, I thought it would be quite a cool little series to begin. So if you guys enjoy this, want to see more, then smash that like button down below. If you are new in here too, guys, please make sure you subscribe to, uh, to see more videos on this. Now, we're going to do a free roam game. I'm going to choose the tropical kind of uh, visuals, kind of uh, genre. What, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what word I'm looking for right now. And um, there's a few little settings I want to do. I'm going to do a very large map. A one-to-one -one ratio, high number of cities but low number of industries to try and give us that little bit of a challenge. That means stuff will be located all over the place, which will be kind of crazy to try and root stuff. Uh, I was playing around with the uh, the C generator uh, before we started recording, and I stumbled across this one, which I've uh, just copied and I've uh, copied it from my last one that I generated in. And it seems to be a pretty good map. It's got a few different islands with some industries on, a few different islands with some cities on, and everything's quite spaced out and uh, looks pretty cool. So I, I kind of randomly generated this. I haven't played the game, uh, or this version of the seed, so it's going to be quite fun to check it out. So we've got 21 towns, 86 industries. We're going to press next. We're going to have it set in Europe because obviously that's where I am. And the starting year, when do we have it? Should we have it start at the 1900s so we're a little bit more technologically advanced? Or shall we go from the, you know, from, from the get-go, the 1850 or the 1800s, pretty much halfway through it? Do you know what? We'll start at the very beginning. We'll see how much we progress through it, but it'll be quite fun to see exactly how things can get set up. So let's start this game. Oh, I am so freaking hyped right now. So the Seniac Inc. Transport Corporation Company, whatever you want to call it, is now going to be up and running. So I think we need to kind of take it easy from the get-go. Just find some small little areas in which we can work on to try and make some cash money moolah. And hopefully we can build a fully-fledged transport company. I don't know what I'm going to focus on more first. Pedestrians or cargo? I think we'll keep it safe. I think we'll focus on cargo, build the cities up, little well, the towns at this point, and then turn those towns into hustling, bustling uh, hubs before we transport the passengers to where they need to go. So we'll wait for the game to load up, and we'll get going Boys! So here we are right now. This is the place that is generated for us. We got a nice little island over there. A couple of islands. Well, an island over here as well, which has got a few little towns and industries hooked up. Look at how cool this game looks, man. Oh, it's a nice big town on that island. Now, the thing about this this town here, it's going to be limited to the, you know, the space that it has, which is uh, pretty cool as well. Oh, I'm so hyped about this. So... I, I, I feel like I know a little bit of the basics. I played a quick little game. I played the old game, the first Transport Fever. So I'm just going to roll with the punches on this one. I'm just looking at all the little towns. Like there's Southwick, Drewsbury, Stockton upon Tees, uh, Ilminster, Topsham, Market Drayton, Epworth, Watford. I'm trying to know if uh, see if anything is like any towns that are near like where I live. None of them look very familiar uh, to where I live. I know, like, I've heard of Market Drayton, Epworth. Uh, Watford is a big town. St. Ives is down near Cornwall. So this is quite cool then. So I think we need to... Oh, a long... long. Oh, that said Long Bridge. It's Long Bridge. I'm going to say Long Bridge is kind of close to Birmingham area. But anyway, we need to kind of pick an area to begin and work in. So I don't think so much I'm going to focus on the cities at the moment, more upon the actual cargo industry. But I will pick a town to kind of base everything around anyway. So why don't we go, let's have a look at a little scout of the towns right now. So what will be good for eventually having a hub? I think Market Drayton is kind of surrounded by a lot of things, a lot of towns, so that might be the, the, the perfect one to go with. 
to begin with. Now, what industries surround it? So I can see that there is, oh, that, that's perfect. So Market Drayton needs, as you can see, a supply of uh, bread. Let's just call it bread. Now, it needs bread. We have a food processing plant just up the road that produces bled, bled, bread, but it needs wheat. And not far from it is a farm that produces wheat. So that is the perfect kind of setup from the get-go right now. That's actually a pretty cool little spawn. I like that. I like that. So why don't we set something up then that kind of works on this. So let's zoom into our little uh, farm right now. And we're going to build a building. And we need a cargo one. So let me just go to cargo depot, cargo here. So we can either do a... How much is that going to be? Well, half a million or versus this. So a small truck stop to unload cargo to be placed on the sidewalk. Does not allow loading of cargo. Okay, so we do need one of these. Now is this, the, okay, there's the rotate button, nice. And I'll place this right here. Give it a little bit of space to work with. So if you have to eventually upgrade it, we can. I will be destroying a farm. Look how much cheaper it becomes if I uh, place it a little bit further down the road. Right, let, let me see if I can get it just turned around slightly. There we go. Wonderful, guys. Wonderful. So there, look how cheap that becomes. I'm not spending that much money at that point. So then we're going to need one over on this side. This music is slightly loud in my ears. Can I uh, turn this down, music? Um, there we go. No, oh, I didn't press <laughs> apply. <laughs> Audio, music. Turn it right down. Nice. Resume. Okay, so let's now get this up. So this is actually an easier one because there's nothing in my way at this point. So I can just build a more simpler, larger truck stop. And I will need one down in Market Drayton as well. Now, it kind of gives you a quick overlay of where the bread is needed in a way. But it also needs the the cog finger. Actually, I don't actually know what that is called yet. So we can look at, uh, let me get rid of this for a second. We can look at the overviews as well for the industry. You see the industry is on this side, but the commercial needs the bread. <laughs> I keep calling it bread. Is it actually called bread in the game? I'm not 100%. So we need to set up some form of a cargo hub here, but I don't want to destroy too much. So that's going to destroy a building. That's going to cost me how much to destroy a building? A million? Oh, man. It's not good, is it? I mean, I could place it on the outskirts, but where's the fun in that? So why if I just kind of uh, plonk it here? There we go. Because I'm trying to keep costs low so I can save a little bit of money. But there we go, boys. There we go. Okay. So there are my three little um, stations in a way set up. I'm going to actually build a road. Uh, streets. Just here. There we go. Where I can drop a little depot on because I feel like that's kind of, um, kind of halfway. I do need to build a road that cuts through. That would be like a shortcut route. So if I get my buildings, my vehicle depot, uh, road depot, tram depot, we need a road depot. I can drop my little depot there. And then streets. Can I get something connected? I don't want to destroy this farmland because it's beautiful. But I need to, we might as well just kind of create the connection there. Only 50,000 for that. There we go. So rather than going up into Topsum, it comes there, down and in. Perfect. Okay. Right, let's roll with that then. So we've got that set up then. So first things first then, let's get the wheat to the food processing plant. So let's let's create a brand new line. So that brand new line is going to start here at Lower Topsum and end here at uh, Market Drayton North. Now, I want them to have a full load when they're loading up at Lower Topsum, no matter what. And then um, leave that as it is. What's this here? Filter currently set. Uh, we're going to set it to, obviously, it's got to be wheat. So, load. Do I just have to manually deselect all these? Ah, there we go. So, load that. Unload nothing. 
so 100%. On this one, load nothing and unload 100% or unload just pure wheat. So we're not getting confused with what they're picking up slash dropping off. Makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it? And we'll rena rename this one as well. So this is our wheat import. That's what we'll call it for now, the wheat import line. Uh, and then we just need to get some vehicles on it. So to our vehicle depot, buy some vehicles. So the only cargo ones we have at the moment is these ones, the European horse drawn carriage. So I think we'll buy, how much is, is 10 too much? I feel like 10 might be a bit too much. Why don't we buy six or five? Let's buy five. Okay, we'll buy five and we'll see how we get on with those. So buy five of those, select them all to the wheat import line, and then we should see them off galloping into the distance to pick up that wheat and drop it to the food processing plant. Now, we can't set up the next line to bring the bread to the market Drayton town just yet, just solely because we doesn't have the wheat to produce the bread. So we just have to kind of slightly wait for that. Now you could argue I could build a road that cuts through there. I kind of could, couldn't I? But we'll, we'll just, I don't want to, I don't want to go down that route where I'm just like making shortcut routes all the time. Because it would ruin the beauty of the landscape, wouldn't it? It kind of would. So why don't we fast forward them. Get those guys moving. Now what speed are they doing? 18 kilometers an hour on that road and um, they did they tell us what details they're doing what speed no not really but it'd be nice to see the difference in road speed they do when they get onto a bit more solid because if it's a bit faster on there then i'm going to upgrade all of this road here going down so then they travel a lot quicker let me just see what happens when they get onto this paved road so it's pretty much 18 as well there's really no difference in speed but okay let them do what they've got to do get to where they need to get to I might need more horse and carts for this but we'll see what happens so once they're getting close to dropping it off we're gonna set it all up so while they do that then it needs the mechanic stuff doesn't it I don't I'm actually sure what this is machines food okay so it's not bread it's food uh, so they need machines we get the machine stuff from a very close uh, manufacturer over here which needs wood and it needs, what else does it need? Steel and planks. Now to get steel, there's a very close steel mill up there. To get wood, there's a forest over there. Where is the closest wood or planks manufacturer? Over here is one. One there as well. Okay, okay. Right, okay, anyway, these guys have picked up all their goods anyway, and they're now on the way back, which is a good thing to see. And then we can see how much money we then lose it. So currently, this year so far, if I drop down the road, we're losing 10,000. And that's, half of it has gone into vehicle maintenance, half of it has gone to maintenance infrastructure. So when they drop off the goods, we'll then get a, a, an accurate kind of feel into where that is. <clears throat> with how much money we're earning. So we can kind of figure then how much each one earns from a simple trip. And then we have to figure out then, do we need more vehicles on that line? So we're constantly getting more money throughout the year. That's what we need to see. But if I drop that, you can see how much we're losing just from road, you know, transport alone. We have loan, a loan as well that we have to eventually repay back. But we just gotta wait for these now to come in. So market Drayton then. And be fun to see when we get the food in as well. Oh, we have this steel mill. Yeah, we did. I, did yeah, we got. I just realised there's a steel mill a lot closer. I was thinking about that one up there, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, we can do a simple line from here to here. That'll be quite. Well, we cheap to run. Hmm. Right. Anyway, they're about to now bring the goods in, and let's see how much we get off each one. So here comes the first one in. We get 9,000. Oh, not bad, boys. Not bad at all. 
So unloads. And now it gets staggered, which is quite cool as well. So it doesn't quite make us break even or anything like that just yet. Okay, now it does. So on the year so far, the road aspect, we've made profit. But not in general because of our loan. So I think it would be idea to, ideal, ideal <laughs> to get a couple more vehicles on that, that front. So why don't I buy another five? And then put them all on the wheat import line. So we then have 10 vehicles on that all together. So then, I now technically have a food line. So if I set this food line up now from Market Drayton North down to here. And we rename this the uh, Food Import Market Drayton. So just so I can keep... Oh, hang on. There we go. So let's can keep like tabs of where it, we currently are. So let me get up here then, because you can choose different sides in which it uses on the station. So the wheat import here, when it comes here, it comes into platform or terminal one. Here, it uses terminal two, which is this side. So you can see how the line turns there. We want to make sure it's got a full load and then it's only loading up food. There we go, 100%. Uh, and then obviously it only unloads food in market Drayton. And that's what we want that to do. And that's all we kind of need to set up there. We just need to buy then the vehicles. So is it producing the goods yet? So I think it needs more coming in before it can produce the goods. But we should have some more vehicles heading in soon. So they're all coming in. How much do we have stored over here? Wow, we have quite a bit, don't we? And each one only takes... What's it only take? It only takes four... No, is it four at a time it takes? Yeah. It only takes four at a time. Okay, okay, okay. So we, we're slightly getting somewhere now. So you, we got to spend a whole lot of money to, to make money. So when all these ten vehicles now come in, they're each giving us, you know, 9,000. That means we're going to make 90,000 in... in hard cash money moolah right there so it'll be interesting to see when we eventually break even but we also need this facility to start producing food before we can ship it so that will all change now when all this comes in now i wonder if i did build a road that cuts straight through down here it would save a lot of time but i don't know if it will mean that we make less money per vehicle we'll see how it goes Right, so all these are now about to come in. And when I see that this starts producing food, and then we're good. So in it comes. Dropping off the goods one by one. 9,000 for you. Off you go. Here we go again, boys. Here we go again. 9,000 for you. Nice. Off it goes. Another 9,000 coming in. We need a lot. We need a lot of import to uh, to be able to produce. I've noticed that. So the money will slowly come in now. So the wheat import line here. Let's manage this line. Uh, maximum waiting time. Well, it's the minimum I was going to look at if there was possible, you know, possible to do that. So we're twenty-one thousand in profit just off the road. We just need to make this year so far, should I say? We just need to make enough that it outweighs the the loan interest. But that's now happening. So are we producing the bread yet, boys? Not really, but we're making good progress. I think it needs a hundred, doesn't it? to come in consumption's 40 I'm not sure, quite sure how it works like at shipping we've got 200 in apparently but if I just set up one vehicle would it then start producing it let's, let's, let's just find that out um, so let's buy one and put that on the food import market Drayton line and does it then start producing 
I wonder if it starts producing when we uh, get the line up and running. Or maybe we need the whole thing set up. So grain and grain. It's not wheat, it's grains. <laughs> I just realised. <laughs> I just low-key realised. So yeah, this won't really do anything, will it? It'll just wait now until it's fully complete. Now, roads. Maximum two lane road. Mm, these small country ones have a faster speed, don't they? Are they cheaper? Like if I picked... Oh, hold on. If I did that... Is that is that them pushing it too far? It's it's almost like a direct line, isn't it? For seventy thousand. Hmm. Right. Actually, press, press, let's just do no, because that vehicle's now off. No, it's not off because it it's it done its maximum wait time, hasn't it? That's what it's done. That's what it's done right now. So we got more stuff coming in. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just really waiting for it to start producing. But anyway, so let's just see the money right now. So we're on the year 53, 1853. So three years already passed. And now we're going to get money coming in again. We're 74,000 down in the hole on the year so far. That year's now ended. <laughs> How much money do we make in that year anyway? Let me go to the road. 63,000. Now, I know we have 10 vehicles, so we should be making 90,000 if we can get them all 10 of them exported in the same year. But another 30,000 still wouldn't cut it, but we're not losing that much in a way. But we are now producing food, which is good. So when the next wagon comes back, it will pick it all up and off it goes. So we can make money off it that way. Right, that's actually now going to be doing pretty well for us. What is the supply like over here? It's 120. So maybe I could get more vehicles on that. I don't know if I want to go down that route just yet. We're 15,000 up. So where is that? Okay, that vehicle is now on the way back. And how much is there waiting? So there's currently 10. So I could get another one by vehicles. Set this up on our wheat import. No, food. Have I call it Marky Drayton? I have. It's not Marky Drayton, is it? It's Market Drayton. <laughs> Market Drayton. It is Market Drayton, right? It is, yeah. So then we should see... Right, that sh we should see that now come in and load up from this side. It's going to be one of these horse and carriages now. So in it comes... It's one of these boys. Here it is. It's this one. So up it loads. Oh, yeah. And the second one's coming at the same time as well. So that'll be fun to see now then how much we get for that. Because it's a processed... It's processed goods in a way, isn't it? Processed goods. So what are we now making or losing? So 36,000 profit on the year so far. That will go down because we're now paying maintenance because nothing's hitting any of the export areas. But as long as this total is coming down slightly, I have spent some money on more horse and carts. See the investments we've got on the go? Oh, I don't need your tips, boy. I'm a pro. Well, kind of. <laughs> I wonder if the commercial will expand on this side as well. That'd be cool to see. Right, so in, in come the horse and carts right now. Here is this one. Um, we can follow it. Chugging along, the dude who's driving has a beautiful top hat. Look how majestic he looks. <laughs> right, okay, they're almost there. And then we can see how much we get out of these guys. And we'll kind of gauge where we need to go with them. So they pull up, and for the first time, food has arrived in Market Drayton. They get 7,000. That's not bad, considering how short that line is compared to how long that line is. So Market Drayton has got that small little import now of food. Good. Nice. 
and on the year we lost 45,000 which is less than the previous years which is again good we turn a profit on the road line in total we just need to do enough that pays for the investments that we're throwing in and the loan interest so what we got stored up over here now in our terminals how do we know what's here it's it's linked to this isn't it oh is it eight oh eight food there we go which both of those horse and carts will take the eight food really because they take four of each and how much you got over here 120 so yeah it looks like i'm gonna need more vehicles on that line which is, is a good thing for me uh when i go for uh, four put it on the wheat import line so spent money now on the investments the investments are ninety five thousand. so we'll probably lose more money this year but i don't mind that because i know i've spent it on the investments and they'll make their way up now and because we got so much wheat over there we need to get it over here to produce more food you see the circle i'm gonna buy two more as well let's buy two more vehicles and put this on the food line so when it comes to these lines now how do you know how many vehicles you have on the line Is there a way to kind of find that out? Vehicle manager. Ah, 14 vehicles on the wheat import. Four vehicles on the food imp uh, food to market Drayton import. That's kind of cool. Because, yeah, we're starting to get a lot more food now holding up here. So let that tick along. And the food should be an abundance. Nice. <laughs> I like this, man. This is cool. I feel like we're doing a really good job. We'll see how things tick along, but I feel like we're doing a really good job. So we'll let that do what it's got to do. And over time, we should generally earn some money as the year continues. So I'm hoping we can eventually stagger the wheat line where there's always a vehicle dropping some food off, uh, wheat off or grains off. I got to stop calling it wheat. Uh, eventually the food will build up as well. Now, if you look at it at the moment, we're losing 159,000, but 143,000 is from from investments. So yeah, there you go. Interesting. Right, let's take a look at another way in which we can earn some money. Now that would be importing the coal to the steel plant there. Now it makes sense to grab it from there to there, but how far away? is the the iron ore where is an iron ore plant oh right there now if i wanted to use this one it's a lot closer to import the iron ore there and there so then bring that down to here to then that down to there yeah so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna use this one i think i'm gonna use this one now i do need to set up a road a quick connection road there and a couple of vehicles over there and if i can get that up and running and then we can make more money in the long run. Which is interesting. So. We didn't make as much profit. You see there from the road. But you can see we made more money in general. But we had more expenses. <clears throat> so now we should have a constant back and forth. We should make some money. So all that's now coming in. We'll let that tick along. There's a bunch of vehicles now coming to import. Which is good. So let's set this up then. So we're going to need... Let's put it into play mode. Buildings. Back to cargo. Road. Depot. No, wrong one. Cargo. There we go. Let's slightly turn this. There we go, boys. There we go. So we need one up here. There we go. And we need one over here as well. Sweet, mate. So, streets then. And I think we stick to the dirt small country lane because it does 40 kilometers. It says it does. And we'll bring that straight across there. No questions asked. A <laughs> um, little bit funky, but it's just simple, quick, and easy, isn't it? Buildings will do a vehicle depot. How much are they? 
Okay, they, they are quite pretty. They're actually pretty cheap. So if I drop a vehicle depot just here, and that can supplement all of that. Right, okay then. So now all those are dropping stuff off. I can get rid of that tip. Uh, let me drop this down again. So 19,000 on the year so far in road profit. But I'm now about to spend so much money in investments. We've got to keep our eye on what we're doing. But this should turn out to be pretty cool. Uh, right, new lines then. So the first line we'll have set up, let me pause it, is from here to here. Now this, if I come out of it quickly, is our, is that iron ore? No, our coal import. So let's call this our coal import. There we go. Then do another new line from here to here. And that should be our, rename it, ore import. Now it is ore, isn't it? No, it's iron. Coal and iron. <laughs> there we go. We'll get it right this time. So this... If I can spell iron right, iron import. There we go. Nice. <laughs> so let's sort the coal one out first then. So we want to make sure that we do a full load. That it's loading only coal, 100%. And then it completely unloads coal. So you're not picking anything else up. There we go. And it's on one on one. So when it comes to the tops and exchange, it's on one. Iron one automatically goes to two, which is cool for us. Full load um, of iron. Uh, completely unload iron. And then that's really all we need to do. Now, I'm going to buy two vehicles for each line. Because I'm trying to keep my expenses down. So, actually, we'll, we'll buy six and we'll do three in each one. So, one, two, three. Two. I'll put it back into play into the iron import then one two three to the coal import right so my vehicle expenses are going to be crazy until i can have the back and forth with the the unloading so until then we're gonna have to play play the game and see how things go because i've spent so much money on investments at this point right now look at that nearly half a million this year but we should see our profits turn around from that. And then when we start producing the steel, we can then export the steel down to here. Right, we just have to do the wood and then we're making machines. And then we can bring them to market Drayton and they've, they've got everything that they potentially need at that point, which is dope bait. So market Drayton, 10% um, growth from the supply of food which is nice. Then they're also having a 10% growth in residents from um, private transport, the destinations that they can now reach. Hmm. So what's this here? No, okay, there are no warnings. I thought we had a warning then, that little noise. So that's good then. Food's coming in. It's always a good thing. Oh, that noise is when we sell something. And it's, mm, you fool, Leo. So more growth in residents from the food coming in. That's what I like to see. And... Vehicles are now on their way back, and as you can see, they're able to get to the coal a lot quicker. So it's going to be fun now to see the, the price difference. So the, the coal is going to come in first to import, and I want to see, it's going to, yeah, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see the price difference on the coal to the iron. Now, granted, the iron's going to be a lot more money when it gets imported, we're going to make because it's a longer route that they take. It's like all based on routes, isn't it? The longer the route, the more it is, but obviously, the more it. it you know, it costs us to run that line. So here comes the coal, and we get 6,800. That's not too shabby, considering the distance. That's actually not too shabby. So off that goes then. More money coming in. And slowly but surely, here comes the iron. And we're going to see how much we get from this then. How much is that? I can't see. 8,000. Wow. Nice. Nice. Okay. So that's going to be interesting to see how this now goes. Look at that. 54,000. 
If I never had my investments there, profit, profit on that one. So if I don't do any investments this year round, I wonder how much we're going to make. Because we have all the uh, the grain trucks now coming in too to the food processing plant. Which is cool to see. Target population, 201. It's way over it. <laughs> damn, boy. So that's pretty cool. I mean, damn, look at that. That coal is on the way back. Making progression on that. So, yeah, money's still coming in thick and fast. We're only 10,000 down on the year, but as all these vehicles arrive again, and they drop the goods off, we'll slowly make the money. So we could do with more vehicles for the food import as well. But I'll do that next year. I just want to see where we're currently at on this year without spending any money on investments. We're down 11,000. Now, how far until... Okay, the coal imports are now coming in. So they're coming in at the right time as well. We're now profit on the year, 9,000. That's great. 5,000 now as some more expenses go out. 14,000. So I'm hoping we can end the year on a profit. That shows that we've had we've got a good setup for the future. It's just then we work and expand on what we've currently got. So all the coal's done. The iron's making its way. I don't know if the iron will make its way before the year ends. We've just gone into December. But vehicles are still coming in for the grains anyway, which is cool to see. So I'm hoping that we can get or at least stay in the year in profit. So the year is about to end. You ready, guys? And bam, we made 32,000 profit. It's pretty cool, man. So we can eventually pay off that loan. Glorious, it's all profit for us. So the road line is making us money. As long as this road line makes more than our loan interest for the foreseeable future, then that's all good. That is definitely all, all good. So it's a really good start that we've got. And I think it's a really cool place to currently end right now. Um, so if you guys want to see another episode, smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you subscribe so you get to see and be notified when that episode comes out. But I think next episode, we're going to work on getting then the steel that this will eventually start producing, if not already producing. I might have to set up another little um, depot area next to it so you can expand off them. You can like configure them and add in another one. Uh, cargo. I can have like another one there. Uh, but we'll get that good stuff, the steel, over to this machine plant over here. Try and get some wood over there as well. We'll have to figure out the best way or the closest way to get the wood over. And then eventually start bringing the machines into Market Drayton and really start to build this up. And then once we've got all that up and running, I think we can then focus on building our first um, public transport line. It's going to be pretty cool, guys. It's going to be pretty cool. So Market Drayton is loving the expansions that are coming its way slowly. We'll up the food coming into it as well, which will be handy. How well is this doing? Hold on, boys. Yeah, we could probably get away with doing a couple more vehicles on that line, but we'll see how it goes. But for now, we're going to end it for here. Guys, hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time. I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. <laughs>